Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be reviewing regular time versus military time. When it comes to regular time, we use numbers 1 through 12 and we use AM or PM to represent the hour in a 24 hour period. Military time uses the number 0 to 23 to represent the hour in a 24 hour period. The 0 here represents 12 for 12 AM and then your 23 here represents 11 for 11 p.m. And as a side note, some areas in the military will use the number 24 to represent 12 in 12 a.m. The minutes and seconds are expressed the same for both military and regular time. So minutes and seconds are expressed the same for military and regular time. So let's look at the morning for an example. Let's say we have 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. If you are going to convert any time between 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. into military time, all you have to do is add a zero right in front of the hour number. For an example, if you have 9.35 a.m., Military time is going to be 0935. If you have 2 a.m., military time is going to be 0200. 6 a.m., military time is going to be 0600. If you have 1 a.m., military time is going to be 0100. Let's try 3 a.m., Military time, this is going to be 0300. And then let's just try 5 a.m. Military time is going to be 0500. So any time between 1 a.m. to 9 a.m., all you're going to do is add a zero in front of the hour number. For 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and 12 p.m., you do not need to include the zero in front of the hour. So for 10 a.m., military time is going to be 100 hours. For 11 a.m. is going to be 1100 hours. And then for 12 p.m. this is going to be 1200 hours. So now let's look at 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. If you are converting times from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. then you're going to add 12 to the hour number. And if you're converting from military to regular then you'll subtract 12. So let's say for an example, we had the time 1.30 p.m. I'm going to add 12 to my hour number. This is going to equal 13.30. So your military time is going to be 13.30. Let's say we had 4 p.m. regular time. To change to military time, I'm going to add 12. This is going to be 1,600. What about 7 p.m.? To change to military time, I'm going to add 12. This is going to be 1,900 hours. What about 10 p.m.? To change to military time, I'm going to add 12. This is going to be 2,200 hours. So what if I gave you military time 2,100? And you need to convert this time into regular time this time, I'm going to subtract 12. So this time, we're going to get 9 p.m. So if you're going from military to regular, this time we're going to subtract 12. And if you're going from regular time to military time, you're going to add 12. What about 1,900 hours? I'm going to subtract 12. 19 minus 12. This is going to be 7 p.m. regular time. What about 1,300 hours? I'm going to subtract 12. This is going to be 1 p.m. regular time. And then what about 1,400 hours? Minus 12, I'm going to subtract 12. This is going to be 2 p.m. regular time. And then when it comes to 12 a.m., this is going to equal 0, 100 hours, which is midnight. And then remember, if you have 12 p.m., this is going to equal 1,200 hours, just like we said up here. 
So let's look at some examples. So let's say we had the military time 0, 0700 hours. And let's convert this into regular time. Is it going to be A, 7 a.m. or B, 7 p.m.? And for this example, regular time is going to convert to 7 a.m. because we have our zero right in front of the hour number. So this is a.m. So let's look at 1300. Is this going to be A, 1 a.m. or B, 1 p.m.? 1300 is going to be B, 1 p.m. because we subtract 12 and that's going to take us back to our regular time. Okay, so let's look at 1600. Is 1600 A, 4 p.m. or B, 4 a.m.? 1600 equals A, 4 p.m. because we subtract 12, and this is going to take us back to our regular time, which is 4 p.m. What about 0, 0900? A, 9 p.m. or B, 9 a.m.? And this is going to be B, 9 a.m. Because I have my zero right in front of my hour number, we know this is a.m. All right, so now let's look at the zero hundred hours. Is this going to be A, 12 a.m., midnight, or B, 12 p.m., the afternoon? And this is going to be A, 12 a.m., which is midnight. And remember, some parts of the military, you may see 2,400 hours to represent 12 a.m. All right, so now let's say we had 6 a.m. How do I convert 6 a.m. into military time? Is it A, 1,800 hours, or B, 0, 0,600 hours? And this is going to be B, 0, 0,600 hours. Because this is a.m., all we have to do is add a zero in front of our hour number. So let's look at this example, 7 p.m. Military time, is it A, 1900 hours or B, 0, 0700 hours? And because this is the afternoon, I'm going to add 12 and this is going to give us A, 1900 hours. What about 12 p.m.? 12 noon. Is it going to be A, 0, 0,100 hours or B, 1,200 hours? And this is going to be B, 1,200 hours. What about 10 p.m.? To convert into military time, is it going to be A, 2,300 hours, B, 2,200 hours, C, 2,100 hours, or D, 1,700 hours. So we already know this is not going to be D, 1,700 hours. 1,700 hours is 5 p.m., so we know that's not the correct answer. What about C, 2,100 hours? Nope, this is 9 p.m. So your correct answer, and if this is 9 p.m., then 2,200 hours is going to be 10 p.m. And then... 2300 hours, which is not correct, this is going to be 11 p.m. So your correct answer is 2200 hours because we added 12, which is going to give us the 22 here. And if you had 10 a.m., remember for 10, 11, and 12, you do not need to add your zero in front of the hour number. So this is just going to be 10 hundred hours. All right, so now let's look at 8 a.m. Is it going to be A, 0, 0,800 hours, B, 2,000 hours, or C, not sure? So your answer is going to be A, that's 0, 0,800 hours. Because this is a.m., all we have to do is add a zero in front of our hour number. All right, let's say we had 1,800 hours. And we wanted to convert this into regular time. Is it going to be A, 6 a.m., B, 6 p.m., or C, both? And this is going to be B, 6 p.m. We're subtracting 12 from our 18, and this is going to take us here to our regular time, and that's 6 p.m. We're going from military to regular, then you subtract 12. All right, so now let's look at 1,400 hours. If we're converting into regular time, 
Is this going to be A, 7 p.m., B, you're not sure, or C, is it going to be 2 p.m.? And the answer for this is going to be C, and that's 2 p.m. Because we are going from military to regular time, we're going to subtract 12, and that's going to take us right here at our 2 p.m. What about 9 p.m.? For this example, we're going from regular to military time, so I'm going to add 12, and this is going to equal 2,100 hours. Remember, if it's 9 a.m., we're going to get 0, 0,900 hours. So let's try 1 p.m. From regular time to military, I'm going to add 12. This is going to give us 1,300 hours. And if you had 1 a.m. military time, this is going to be 0, 0,100 hours. All right, so that is all for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.